The Peace Love Programming is a critical component to our Smart Justice and Restorative Justice initiatives. We at Franklin County want to provide them with the opportunity to refresh their life. In order to do that, we have to work with other entities, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. We have the Justice Program. We have the Franklin County Commissioners. The court system, we work with numerous judges, Franklin County Probation Department, Southeast Mental Health. We have two facilities. One is the old facility, Metal Bars, and our other facility is like dorm setting. We have approximately 2,200 inmates. Their stay here might be anywhere between 17 to 30 some days, and prisons a good length of years. Traditionally, programming is a certain number of dosage hours of cognitive behavioral therapy. So you sit and you learn how to think differently about yourself, why perhaps you make bad choices in the moment. But what Peace Love does is gives folks a way to express themselves in a healthy way. We really believe that having that kind of creative outlet is a huge part of the success rather than saying, go to class six hours a week and then you'll be fine. With the success of Peace Love in our bigger overall Pathways program, we recognized that it could be a standalone program for some of the, the populations that we felt were currently underserved, we started with our LGBT community and then we moved it into our maximum security inmates. This program has really made a huge difference in the lives of some of the most difficult of our clients to reach. It's been incredibly well received by the men who are considered so high risk that no other programming is offered to them. When I came in here the first day, it was not an art class. It was dealing with perspectives. It was dealing with morals. It was dealing with values. So it helped me to understand why my actions have been the way that it was in the past through art. It helped me to, to trust. It broke a barrier. The first day was just like, wow, something different. Like real heartfelt to me that this program actually existed in this environment. Being able to share with the group, you know what I'm saying? Being able to have your time, your moment. And I actually thought like, okay, what, what really does bring me peace of mind today? You know what I mean? And I haven't really even thought about that question for a while. And then, like I say, that's like the beginning before the program even started. I didn't know what to expect, but I'm glad I participated. It was a release. At the end, you have this artwork that you're doing. It lets you see your way out. There's no such thing as a bad peace love masterpiece because it's your story being poured out and how can that be wrong? The population I serve are females that have funneled in and out of the criminal justice system. Many of the women have trauma, undiagnosed mental health, addiction. Creating a safe space is important so that people know that there is a process to heal and that you're not alone. Let's deal with it together and walk through this process. Because when you can restore the value, the dignity, and the worth in a person, we return a more productive citizen back in society. It helped me identify emotions that I didn't know I had. It's been freeing and I feel stronger and I feel just relieved. I'm just really thankful for this program. We have been able to show understanding and compassion to one another. It just brought us together and gave us unity. Patrice and them, they actually genuinely care for us, and it's not good to keep your feelings bottled in, so putting it on paper, drawing and writing, I actually see what my life has been. It makes me want to change my life. Peace Love programs have helped us build a sense of family. Well, I have all kinds of anxiety and I worry a lot, so when I come here, it just brings a sense of calming over me. It kind of just reminds me who I am and where I'm going. Having that piece of yourself that's focused inward, I think is a good thing, whether it's writing, doing something artistic, skilled at it or not, I think is just so critically important. When they get out and visit me in the office, they'll tell me how much this program means to them and that they're still doing their artwork. They're still believing that it matters. So the population that I serve are males that are LGBTQIA+, as well as maximum security inmates. Peace of mind to me is just being able to like take a moment and breathe and just let all things go. 
With mob population, it's extremely important because they live in chaos. They're incarcerated, especially the maximum security guys who are facing serious charges. It's been amazing to see the impact that Peace Love has had on them. Just such a variety of things to use, so many different paints and canvases and paper and chalk, the hot glues and the markers and the box with accessories in there, like different things you can pick from to create your art for you to express yourself. It's very therapeutic, not having to worry about being in the confinements of jail. You're getting away from everything without having to go anywhere. This isn't my first time locked up, so I've been in other programming. Peace Love was different because everybody interacted. It gave me hope that there's good people in the world. They don't see you as this criminal. They don't see you as this violent person. They can take time to dig deeper into who you are. Like the one lady who came in, she had been where we'd been at. Like, and she told us her story and it was heartfelt to know that she changed and now she's productive in society. And if she got through it, I can get through it. When I heard about peace love going on in the jail, I went to it, I participated, and I was blown away. And I immediately said, I have to bring it into the courtroom. Programs like this really show people that redemption is possible and truly seeing our clients as people and not as inmates with numbers on their backs. I really think we need programs like Peace Love in the community to help the youth. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to let somebody know that how you're feeling inside. That's somebody out there that want to hear what you have to say, that want to help you. I believe that we're building a foundation to where doing these things will be truly considered mainstream. It's a good program and I like to see it all around, for real. You know what I mean? It's like I got a lot out of it. Now if I can get something out of it, you know, I think everybody could.